Okay, you guys, what is up? King Lang and do Hunter Hunter chapter 328. This chapter was, yeah, yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, it's a setup chapter for next week's chapter because next week's chapter, the way the, the, the way the chapter ended, is, it looks like next week is going to be uh, pretty hectic. But um, let's get on with the actual review. We start this chapter in Killua. No, um, yeah, Killua is basically on the run from, uh, I believe her name is Sabuni or Sabuna. Uh, the old lady with the uh, really, really big uh, pigtails. And then he's on the run from her and these two other butlers. And he realizes that they're catching up. So he goes into lightning speed state. And then he blazes across, creating a significant amount of distance between the two groups. And then so Sabun realizes, or uh, Sabune, she realizes this. And then she's like, okay. And then so she calls the other two butlers, tells them to catch up. And they catch up, and then Sabune is waiting in the middle of the road, and she's a motorcycle. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, yeah. I didn't know that Transformation Nen could be used in that kind of way. I don't remember anyone using, like, Transformation Nen in that kind of way. But, uh, this was good. Because, you know, it's interesting, because I doubt that she can only transform into the motorcycle. I'm, I'm pretty sure she that she can do multiple things, but it's, it's really interesting to see... How, you know, this is working out, how she's a motorcycle, I'm like, whoa. And then what happens is, okay, the other two butlers, they hop on her, like, yeah, weird, right? They hop on her, and uh, they, and she blitzes, I mean, like, she, the speed she dished out, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, Kahlua is in lightning speed state, and she caught up, like, fucking that, I'm like, whoa. So Kahlua opted for, I'm going to run the jungle because, you know, going on the main road is going to wind up screwing me over because she can catch him instantly. And then when they're, and then when he's running in the jungle, the butlers are trying to, like, make a decision on, on whether or not where to go and how to predict uh, Killua's moves. And then they wind up <laughs> meeting Killua at this, uh, at this uh, air balloon. Oh, yeah, what do they call Blimp. Yeah, at the uh, Blimp. Uh, at, a, at like a blimp station and I told the, so there's like a bunch of blimps and the butlers were already waiting from right there and Killua is mad exhausted mad tired like fuck like really like dead ass like did you guys just catch me <laughs> so that was funny and then he tricks the butlers into getting multiple different blimps while he sneaks on one of those blimps and just goes off with a Luca so he right now is going to the hospital. Oh, and apparently the hospital is right next to the Hunter Hunter headquarters, which I thought that, you know, like that was a little bit too convenient. A little bit too convenient. Why? Because then, you know, I'll get to it later. Because see, what happens is that the butlers are now on the chase of Killua, and all of a sudden, Alumi comes at the uh, Blim station, and Alumi and Hisoka are devising on what the fuck they're gonna do. And Illumi has these needles, and these needles, he chucks these needles at you, and what happens? He takes complete control of your body, and you are basically his slave until you die. Unless the needles are removed, all right? So, you know, you know, like, that'd be some bullshit. That'd be some eyes and bullshit. If, like, he just throws a needle at you, and you're fucking, like, forever trapped, you know, in his clutches, like, that. no, fuck that, bullshit, bullshit, but, that being said, those of you that you, you're a slave, and basically he's he's manipulating a lot of people at one given point in time. Cause he goes in the he, he goes in the blimp station and he and he's fucking chucking needles everywhere and shit. So, and then what happens is okay. See, Killua already figured out, or he already realized that Illumi was probably gonna use some underhanded means in order to try and capture Aluka. Cause again. If Aluka makes the wish and, and if things go wrong, then Killua and his whole entire family, plus a lot more people, will wind up dying. And Alumi, and Alumi wants to avoid that situation. Of course, Killua notifies the uh, smoke guy, I forgot his name. He notifies him of what's going on. Like, he, he says that, like, if I, like, this wish that I can make is probably going to, might destroy my entire family. So, you know, like some big shit here. And then what happens is he tells the guy, okay, well, I need you to, you know, get other hunters and, like, track down Illumi since Illumi is breaking one of the cardinal rules of the, uh, 
Hunter, the Ten Hunter, like, I don't want to say Commandments, because I, I don't think it's Commandments, no. The Ten Hunter something. The, the, the Ten Hunter Laws, I believe. And basically, he's breaking rule number four. Or, no, no, like, rule number four, rule number four has to be in effect, because it states that, um, no hunter shall target another hunter unless that hunter that is being targeted has committed a serious crime. And so, Lumi controlling multiple people is a serious fucking crime. So, they're gonna go take him out. And then we have three random hunters. One of the hunters, uh, the one on the left, I believe, he looks beastly. He, look, he looks like he can fuck shit up. But then again, we've all read Hunter Hunter, and we all know looks can be deceiving. Look at Biska. Biska was some little girl, and then she wants to fucking shit up bad. Bad. So, yeah, yeah, I know Notre Dame is like that, so I'm, I'm just saying. Looks can be deceiving, obviously. So, I'm waiting for next week's chapter, because the way it's going to work out is that we have multiple hunters at this point in time. Uh, three main hunters, and like, you know, like, a bunch of sub-hunters, and they're targeting Hisoka and Illumi, and Illumi's henchmen. They're regular people, but they're being controlled by needles. And the goal is to, like, remove the needles and capture Illumi. So, the way this is going to pan out is going to be very interesting because Yoshihiro, he does, he, he, he does plan things out very well. And things do pan out in a very, you know, crisp and smooth manner. So, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the next chapter of Hunter x Hunter. So, but this week was okay. Uh, more of a setup chapter. And I'll see you guys next week for Hunter x Hunter chapter 329. King of Lightning, rate, comment, subscribe. Signing off.